y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 2 pleasant view so today we are back with the goth family and we have dina and we decided that in the last part dina needs her younger man because mortimer is fading quickly and we know she really just wanted his money so she got his money she got married and she has her heir she had spencer and so we need to find a man <laughs> and the butler was my number one you know target but he flat out knew our game and denied us hardcore so i decided you know after she gave birth you know maybe she wanted to go to the gym you know work on her fitness but then also i figured that'd be a good way to meet some possible good looking young men so i brought dina uh to what is it called one two three plus gym something like that she's got on this cute little red sweater thing because it is winter and it was snowing at our house before we left is this our sister are they gonna fight are they gonna fight yeah they don't like each other remember so immediately she walks over here and starts like poking on her like oh you would be here you would be here like really <laughs> look at her face <laughs> I love it. Okay, but, uh, all right. Anyways, I don't have time for you, girlfriend. Oh, let's see. Can we fight her? Let's shove her one good time and just tell her, get up out of our face. You know what? We're, we're not, we're not studying her. We didn't come here to fight with her. So just back off. We've got things to do here today. Let's come over here. Um, and can we talk to him? Can we chat with him? He looks very handsome. His wig looks like it's been a little, you know, snatched. <laughs> look like my hair when I watched that new react not reaction that new trailer reveal for our new expansion pack in the sims 4 but we'll talk about that later make sure you check out my reaction video if you have not but anyways let's check him out see if we have any chemistry with him um I I, I am gonna have her work on her fitness a little bit you know main priority here was to meet some guys he doesn't look too interested but he's got a very pretty smile I kind of like him Okay, so she is attracted to him. Not too much, though, but it's something we can work off of that. We could get a drink, but who is this? Oh, oh my god. I thought that that was, uh, <laughs> I thought that was his Al Alexander from a second. I was like, dude, what are you doing here? I didn't bring you. Okay, so is that the only treadmill they have? Looks like it. Wow. But they do have, like, a little hot tub over here. I'm disappointed that the only person really here is Nina. I really wanted some good-looking, you know, muscle men to come in. Uh, definitely her type. I mean, honestly, since she's so mad at her sister, I think she would try to get back with Dawn. Because, you know, last time we seen Dawn, he was also on the prowl. Uh, so, you know, oh, they're matching twins. Um... So, I mean, I don't know. Their relationship's not bad. They're still technically best friends forever. <laughs> so, it wouldn't be hard to get their relationship back up. See, she has absolutely no chemistry with that guy. She's kind of attracted to um, the butler, like I said. But he's not interested. Cassandra would, like, murder her if she tried anything with Darren. But I'm just going to hang out here a bit. Have her work out. And I'm just fingers crossed that we have some more Sims um, show up. in The Sims 2 kind of like the sims 3 there's kind of hard when you, you're expecting some sims to show up at a community lot and it's kind of like vacant it's like nobody lives here um but i don't know we're gonna give it some time and see who all shows up okay so far we've had no luck i had her do a little bit of workout on the treadmill and she was getting really stinky so i'm gonna have her take a shower real quick but i did just see a um, first mill walk in here and i don't even know how to say his name um abjah 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 don't even judge me don't even i'd like to see you pronounce that name uh we're gonna call him abe ab abe yeah let's just call him abe you know for short you know why not and as soon as she gets out of the shower her fun is like incredibly low freaking nina left and then came back she is persistent to annoy the piss out of us um so yeah i'm gonna have our shower and then i want her to come over here and hopefully see if we have any kind of romance oh look so she got a little bit fit looking good looking good girl okay <laughs> um see if we have any attraction to him maybe invite him to come join us in the hot tub and let's have a chat i wonder if we could at least maybe invite the bartender that we are attracted to to join us in the hot tub i know we're, we're such a player i, I like to ruin my sims lives <laughs> poor mortimer but you know what he should have seen this coming from a mile away we all did so let's go ahead and check him out i know you're bored me too <laughs> um 
But yeah, just flirt, check him out. Oh my god, go away. Okay, so she looks like she's very attracted to him. Let's see. Oh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, well, you know what? She thinks he's hot, but maybe they don't have anything in common. Um, how do you form a group? Someone told me in the last part when I was having trouble getting them to like eat and do stuff together. Um, how to form a group. I don't, I don't remember how to form a group. Ask to form casual group. Just for fun. Okay, there you go. Okay, Nina is so jealous. But you know what, Nina? Nina, you, you got what you wanted to, okay? But we think you got what you wanted. Dawn's not ready to commit, but, you know, whatever. All right, so are we asking him to join? Our, okay, so we are in a group, so can we get in this together? I think if you're in a group, he'll follow you around anyways. So I think if we say get in, he'll automatically follow us and get in with us. I think that's how it works. Is he coming? Looks like it. Okay, um, hopefully, I'm hoping this gets her fun up. Maybe we could do a little woohoo to get her fun up. I don't know, because she's not very attracted to him, unfortunately. Um, so, we'll just have to see. Maybe chat him up. Um, I don't know. She thought he was hot. Y'all seen that, right? But, evidently, they don't have anything in common, maybe. But he's, he's already talking about kissing. <laughs> Alright, so, let's, um... Like, just chat with him a little bit. You know, if anything, we might not go all the way. Maybe give her the benefit of a... Bene I can't talk. I'm, I'm just, like, all over the place. Give her the benefit of the doubt that she's not a major hoe. Uh, they're not getting along. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, we'll just have them, like, conversate. She just really wanted to get away from the stuffy old goth mansion, honestly. She is so ready to renovate the place and, you know, give it a little up-to-date makeover. But Mortimer is not having it as long as he is alive. He's like, nope, this is you know, been in my family all this stuff this is my style I like it I don't want a TV I don't want any of that stuff where we're keeping it just the way it is um, so she's kind of wait and I know that sounds like terrible like she's kind of just wait on him to kick the bucket <laughs> but you know he does have that wish to beat death and be saved from death and I am gonna do my research I'm going to try to get Alexander or somebody to save him that way we can just burst her bubble I think that would be hilarious but for the time being she knows his time clock is ticking and uh, she she will be left to do whatever she pleases. Alright, so you know what? Her fun has been going up, but they have absolutely nothing in common. I mean, they could be friends. Oh, they are friends. Okay, that's cool. But I mean, we do kind of have, like, an attraction to him, and we are getting kind of sleepy. So I think before we go home, I think we need to come over here. Let's not go stomp on the roaches. And let's order us a poured drink and kind of just chat to him. See what his deal is. Look at her abs. Girl, I envy you. Those abs, that bod. And she just had a baby. She just had a baby. I mean, what even? All right, so she had her nice little drink, and I'm having her just chat with him for a little bit before we leave because, like I said, it's getting late, and she's been gone all freaking day. She's been a terrible mother. Um, but how do I get out of a group with him? How do we do that? Um, ask to leave casual group. I guess we'll do that. Come over here and tell him, nice getting to know you, but you know, you just ain't gonna do it for me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have her leave here because, I mean, this place is absolutely dead. Oh, hold up. Who do we have here? We have somebody, and I can say his name, Eamon? Eamon Sims? Well, you know what? Before we go home, we're gonna go up here and greet Eamon just to see if there's a possibility that she is attracted to him. I am desperate. Oh, yes. We hit the freaking lotto. Charm. Let's charm him. Um, it looks like she is more attracted to him than anybody. We probably are about to completely ruin it by being too forward, flirting with him. He just made a complete fool of himself, but it's okay. Because you know what? Nope. He's like, girl, no. She's like, what? What do you mean? You're you really rejecting me? Oh awkward. All right, girl, you might as well just go ahead and go on home before, oh, 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 hold up, hold up a second. Who we got here? Who we, who we got here? John Burb. Okay, so John Burb, we know, is related to the Pleasant because Daniel's sister, Jennifer Burb, is married to John Burb. So he is married. He does have a kid, but, you know, so is she, and she doesn't care. She would be a homewrecker. So, um, I'm gonna have her kind of, oh, yes, and she is, so, oh, wow, very attractive. Okay, you know what, we don't have time for all this, um, listen to Joe, because he's joking with her, he, he's the one after her, I mean, 
Okay, you know what? John, we'll give you a call later. We're really tired. We probably need to get home to our child. But, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep you in mind. I'm going to consider you. You know what? we got to wait on our taxi. So while we wait on our taxi, uh, let's just come over here and... Uh, um, mm, what can we do? Let's just kind of chat with him. We're not going to be too forward this time, okay? I love how it's winter time and she's walking around in her freaking undies. I mean, bathing suit. Ooh, oh my gosh. I love how all these people are just walking by when it's time to leave. Who is this? Goopy. Oh, that name. Uh, mm, maybe not. <laughs> all right, so look at her. All right, so the taxi has arrived to pick us up. And before... I started recording. I tried to give her and Mortimer and the, just the Goth family in general a vehicle because they are a wealthier family and I figured, you know what, they would have a vehicle. But for some reason, I can't get the freaking driveway to place. It keeps saying out of bounds and it's not out of bounds. So once again, I'm going to have to like Google some stuff and try to figure out what I'm doing wrong, why some of these driveways are not, you know, working when I try to place them in my Sims, you know, yours because... I want to use cars in The Sims 2. I forget, but I'm excited um, to see what has happened at the house since we left, which obviously it's going to be at the same time that it was when we left, so it's going to be super early in the morning, you know, 10 o'clock. It's snowing. Um, I'm pretty sure her knees and everything is going to go down yep, as soon as she pulls up, so obviously the baby is screaming. Nobody is taking care of the baby. Oh my god, the baby's out of the crib. Runaway baby, who has our baby? Delinquent notice, SimCity Collection Agency has noticed a lag in the payment of your bills. If we do not receive payment immediately, we will take serious action. What? The Goth family does not have a problem with money. I guess we just kind of got a little preoccupied. That's probably Nina's job as the wife, but she sucks. She doesn't know how to do anything. Where is this baby? Okay. Whew. Okay, Alexander is giving him a bottle, it looks like. I hope that's what he's doing. I hope he's not about to... Oh, okay. Well, he's going to lay him on the floor while he's screaming. Okay, let's hold him. Looks like he needs to change his diaper and then probably feed him. Um, I think... Okay, before you go to bed, you need to come up here and use the bathroom. Then sleep in your pajamas. Mortimer, get off the freaking piano because you have the butler distracted he's not doing his job where are all of our bills at where are they can we come out here and just get bill or get bill get mail that way um i don't see any laying around that's it looks like a coffee cup what did we do with all of our bills are they just in the mailbox and we just haven't been checking them period um okay so i think he's feeding him okay cool good job alexander um, so in the last part, we was trying to, well, the last part with the Goth family, we was trying to find Alexander, um, you know, somebody so he's not lonely, maybe a girlfriend or a boyfriend, and we failed miserably. We could not find anybody that he was attracted to. Um, so, I don't know, I guess we're just going to have to take it as it goes. Maybe he's not really interested in dating anybody right now. I can also see that being a possibility, that he's just, you know, more into you know, finding out the truth about what happened with his mom and into the books and everything like that. So what is she doing? It's like she is going to sleep. She is awful. She is awful mother. You know what? I had high hopes. What what is what is he doing? Who brought him that? What 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 is that? What where did that come from? Is he what? Is he leaving that for her? I'm so confused. View? What is what is this? Oh, y'all, dear Dina, romance bloom between us as a single flower shows. And as I think of you, my sweet, my longing for you grows, Mortimer. Okay, wow, that is so freaking cute. She gave birth to his baby, and all he can think about is, I mean, he's not going to put it up there by the table where she's sleeping, the nightstand. He's going to put it on the front door. But you know what? It's the thought that counts, Mortimer. That's really sweet. I see you. I see you, and I appreciate you. Let's put away these leftovers. Oh, it looks like our phone is ringing. I don't have the volume up, so I can't hear it, but I see it. Um, oh, my God. Mortimer, not Mortimer. Alexander is on the run to see. Oh, oh, it's the bartender wanting to talk to Dina. Um, she's not available right now, but we'll have her call you back. She's going to be so excited to know that somebody called her, a guy has called her, and her husband is just being so sweet and romantic. I just I feel for him. I really, really do. 
but we're gonna have him go use the restroom and do all of that um he's just sitting and chilling okay you suck i kind of want to freaking dismiss you um i guess what i'm gonna have to do he does not do a good job at cleaning at all he sucks so i think what i'm gonna do is hire a maid to come to which i thought i had already done but maybe i kind of maybe i dismissed them or fired them because technically he's supposed to clean up and you know do all that fun stuff but he does not like he just kind of lingers around and does his own thing if anything he freaking just sweeps i mean not sweeps rakes the leaves and stuff do you need help keeping your home spick and span i'll come clean your home every day okay yes we don't have a problem with money so you are good come on Okay, so she's on her way right now, so she'll get the house cleaned up for us because I don't want to do it, and evidently, neither does anybody else. Where is he putting the bills, and where did she go? Oh my god, why is she sleeping in his bed? Oh, gross. He's probably like, get out of my bed, woman, you freaking psychopath. Oh, I bet the phone rang and it woke her up. That's what it was. Okay, get, 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 get out of his bed, because we're probably going to have him come up here after he... Let's get these leftovers out and have him eat. And then he needs to work on his homework. Um, we definitely need to make sure he keeps his grades up. He is a goth. I don't know what his problem is. He is just kind of like stuck there. He's doing nothing. He's useless. Ah, I can't find where we put our bills. Do we have Do we have an inventory? How does this work? We do, but all we have is a computer in there. Oh, wait. What is this? Okay. Wait renew you okay so we can make him younger this way can't we isn't this what that is he's about to die so he wants to be saved by death but if we could just like have him drink this how do you do this okay maybe okay maybe okay hold up let me see okay drink it this way yeah and I think that'll push him back to where he's at the beginning of the elder stage. Oh, no. It, it just fixes our turn on and turns off, doesn't it? Okay, well, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so he's still about to die. <laughs> okay, let's just have him grab a plate. I gotta find these stupid bills. I don't know what we did with them. Uh, I guess we can just pay all bills that way. Yeah, okay. So who was our maid? She looks like freaking uh, Nina. Lucy. Hanby. She's cute. Um, unfortunately, I don't think he is uh, interested in being a playboy at all. He's obviously knows he ain't got much time left, which is why he wants to be saved from death. Oh, they, they just become best friends. That is so freaking cute. Oh, but yeah, he's not interested in anybody else. He unfortunately is smitten with freaking Dina and she is just a ratchet heifer mortimer received a pension check for four ninety nine. 99 um yeah we're gonna have him come up here alexander and da, 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 da. have him come do his homework honestly i think that if she woke up and realized that mortimer had hired this maid that is a female she'd be furious she'd be quite jealous even though she has been on the prowl herself she has been hitting on the freaking butler and everybody with a freaking wang ding dong whatever you want to call it <laughs> oh my god uh, i'm so inappropriate <laughs> but uh yeah we're gonna have her sleep just for a little bit longer because it is like 3 p.m it's like he's going to do his homework um it says be safe from death i thought it was going to tell us how we can do that i'm not really sure how we can do that but let's have him come over here and pay all bills and then I'm going to have her sleep for a little bit and wake up and maybe call one of those fellas and see, you know, what it was that he wanted. He did call us. I didn't know she was leaving her numbers with him, though. So, Dina has woken up. I don't know what she's doing. Right in her freaking diary, okay. Well, the maid is leaving, and she did invite over. I don't even remember his name. What was his name? The bartender one? What was his name? Bruce Langerick? Oh my god, I wonder if he's related to Kaylin. I mean, they don't look like it, um, but maybe down the line. Um, he did say he had a friend, so we said, sure, why not? Mortimer's asleep. We're a terrible mom, but our baby's asleep. It's fine. Get up, girl. Get off the floor. Um, honestly, y'all, I know this is, like, terrible, but... Um, I don't know, because neither one of them have a job, so maybe it wouldn't track it very well. Um... 
I was going to say, I don't see her being a very good mom. Maybe we can hire a nanny. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe in the next part with them, we'll hire a nanny. Uh, but right now, I think she can handle it as far as him being a baby. Once they get a toddler, it might be a little bit too much for her. Uh, I know, right? But we're going to hire a repairman because we have some things broken around the house. The maid did a wonderful job cleaning up. Um, yes, come fix our pipes. Come fix our stuff. Okay, so... Honestly, I don't know what this guy's problem is. I'm about to dismiss him. And Bruce is over. He brought a... Fr oh, my God. Y'all, he brought John Burr. John Burr, which is, you know, the one that she is, like, really attracted to. I think that's the one she brought, right? Greet? Maybe? I don't know. I'm assuming that's who he brought because he showed up here. Okay, well, you know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna talk to him, okay? We're gonna see what's up. Honestly, I feel really bad even considering being a homewrecker because, you know, the Burb family is a really cute little family. But this is freaking Dana Goth we're talking about, okay? She has no shame. When she's telling him a secret that she's, like, attracted to him or something, he's like, oh, girl, calm down. Okay, girl, you're coming on way too strong. Let's take it down and not, um... Anyways, I'm sure he'll come inside. I think he is. But basically, I think what we're going to do, because he's made it clear he's attracted to her. They have been, like, very flirty. Look at him, like, thinking about her. Um, I think that they're going to, like, commit to a secret affair. I know it's, like, really soon. But, you know, maybe he's got a little bit of his brother-in-law in him to where, you know, <laughs> he's into that sort of thing. <laughs> so, oh, I, I kind of want to, like have a moment with him i want to keep maybe like flirting with him let's let's keep wolf whistling and just kind of like talking him up and just you know we got to make sure we tell what's his name bruce to, to keep his mouth shut not say anything um hear no evil see no evil speak no evil oh my gosh and of course poor poor alexander is up here Taking care of his little brother, of course, while his freaking stepmom's down here hoeing around. But, you know, that's me. I like to I like to ruin my son's lives, make everybody hoes and cheat and create that drama. But it's freaking Dina Goth. Like I said, I mean, what what else do you expect? You should not expect anything less. Um, so, anyways, I want her to continue, like, flirting with him. And it's working. Um, feed him. And then let's change his diaper. Okay, I want to, I wish I could get him to accept the suggestion, um, and it can be like a suggestion, a suggestion, I can't talk, suggesting a secret affair. He's like, no, but you know what? We are having one. You're flirting with me, so we're having one. I don't care what you say. <laughs> so, yeah. As far as you and I are concerned, they're in the middle of a secret affair right now. I think this is the beginning of it, the beginning stages. Um, he's... Look how he's looking at her. He, he can't resist her. He's trying so hard to resist her, but he can't. Looks like she's going to sleep. And I think I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. Um, of course, everybody is um, still here, but she's tired. She doesn't care. Where is the repairman? I thought he was supposed to come. Did we not? Oh, I thought she was about to come freaking kick our trash over. Wait, she might. She might, though. Yep. What a twat. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I mean, I guess that's our payback because, you know, Dina did keep coming and stealing our newspaper and kicking our trash over. But anyways, you know what? What, what can you do? His fun is terribly low. I think we're going to have him come down here and ask everyone to leave since everybody else is asleep. She would invite people over and then just leave. <laughs> and then I guess have him play the piano a little bit, get his fun up, get him to sleep. I don't think we got all of his homework done. No, we still have... Um, oh my gosh, we have a lot of homework. Oh my gosh, we've really got to get him... Oh, oh, his grades are slipping. We've got to work on that. Uh, it's really hard to catch up when you get behind in The Sims 2 on their homework. So, get off of here so we can play. I guess we can play some chess or something, get our fun up. But anyways, y'all, I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. Can't you see I'm in a bad mood? I don't feel like it. Well, I thought that would help you, you little brat. Uh, how am I supposed to get you to have fun? Can you read? 
okay, mystery, okay, maybe that's his thing, he'll be into that, get his fun up that way, I don't know, but anyways, yeah, sorry, I'm gonna try to wrap this part up now, right here, <laughs> so if you guys like this part, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, leave your comment suggestions, all that down below, um, I'm interested to see how this affair is gonna go, it is the beginning stages of it, he's trying his hardest to resist her, but it is the beginning of an affair, it's gonna happen, so y'all just mark my words, but anyways, y'all, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and do that. Stay tuned for the next video and I will see y'all later.